Here's some FreeCodeCamp secrets that you may not know. Did you know that on the FreeCodeCamp curriculum, you can turn on campfire mode so that every time you type, you hear beautiful guitar strumming. And check out what happens when you pass a challenge. I'll let you figure out what happens when you earn a certification using campfire mode. And if you like campfire mode, you'll love the chill beats at coderadio.freecodecamp.org. Fun fact! The girl in the animation is modeled after Saranya Barak, who is the host of the Code Newbie podcast. A cool feature on the YouTube channel is that some videos have dubbed audio in other languages. This feature is only on a few videos for now, but there will be more in the future. When going through the curriculum, look out for Easter eggs. Hmm, I wonder what this URL in this test goes to. Another thing you can turn on in the curriculum is keyboard shortcuts. In a challenge, just press escape followed by a question mark to bring up the list of shortcuts. FreeCodeCamp has a mobile app. One cool little known feature in the app is the ability to bookmark articles. This is helpful to keep track of the articles you want to come back to. And did you know that FreeCodeCamp is in a ton of languages? You can select different languages for the curriculum. And there's a version of FreeCodeCamp news for almost all of these languages. There are original FreeCodeCamp podcasts in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And there are dedicated YouTube channels for many languages, including Spanish, Portuguese, Hindi, and more.